AutoCAD for 21st century learners tutorials. The following videos are open to anyone at any level. Maybe CAD enthusiasts, would be CAD operators, or even novice users. You may use this as your guide in discovering or exploring AutoCAD as software as tool in developing your CAD projects. Introduction to CAD and AutoCAD software, some of the basic draw commands, as well as modify commands are comprehensively discussed in the presentation. You can play and pause the videos to furtherly understand the lesson. And don't forget to perform the tasks relevant to the lessons which will be shown after every video tutorial. This would be supplementary activities in enhancing and mastering your skills. Allow me to introduce you in CAD operation, most especially in using AutoCAD as software in starting and creating your design, is the content of the lesson one of the video tutorials. It mainly talks about what is CAD and its role in the design industry, overview about AutoCAD as software that includes brief history, the pros and cons in using the software, its AutoCAD graphics window or the interface, special keys, the status bar toggles and its function keys, the AutoCAD coding systems applying line command as well. In performing CAD operation, ang mouse at keyboard ay ilan sa mga napaka-importanteng gamit na dapat maging pamilyar tayo sa mga paggamit nito. Maaaring may pagkakahalintulad kung paano ito gamitin sa ibang computer application o software. Ngunit sa video na ito, ilalahad dito kung paano gamitin ang nabanggit na computer hardwares na may kinalaman sa paggamit ng AutoCAD software upang matulungan tayo sa pagsagawa ng ating mga takda o proyekto. Ang mouse na mayroong left button, right button at scroll button. Sa keyboard, ang escape, enter at spacebar keys ay ipapakita at bibigyan diin sa video na ito. Ang ibang keys sa ating keyboard ay naipresenta sa ibang videos and tutorials at tinatawag ito mga shortcut keys. Simulan natin sa paggamit ng ating mouse. Kung gagalawin natin ang mouse natin at any direction in your screen, you will notice that the crosshair cursor, the two intersecting lines forming a cross, is also moving. Sa paggalaw ng ating mouse, it controls the direction or location ng ating pointer, the crosshair cursor at the drawing area or space. While outside the drawing area or space, arrow is the pointer. The scroll button plays significant role. Especially in zooming, you can zoom in and out the drawing area or space by scrolling it up and down. But if you wish to see the wholeness of the drawing, or lahat ng objects na ginawa mo sa drawing area or space, then try to click the scroll button twice. Then atawag natin itong zoom extent. At karagdagan, kung yung scroll button ng ating mouse ay ating didiinan, lalabas ang pan command icon. Then, without releasing the scroll button, you can now drag or move the drawing space or area sa madaling paraan. The left button of the mouse is used for activation and selection purposes. In the succeeding videos, it's either I use the term click or left click but both refer to clicking the left button ng mouse. If you place the pointer at the icon or other menus, then click it. Using left button, it activates the command or menu. Pick any point at the drawing space to start drawing through left clicking. And when you press the right button ng mouse, the context menu will pop up. You will see the options relative and relevant to the object or even other menu you pick. While you place it on a drawing, you can select it by left clicking. In selecting the object, or objects ay may dalawang paraan upang mas mapadali ang pagpili na hindi ka na mag isa, isa by left clicking. It instead we have crossing and window selection processes. Kapag sinabing crossing, you need to left click at any point near to the object you want to select then move the pointer going to the left direction and make sure it must touch the objects you want to select. Press escape to deselect the objects. Isa sa mga gamit ng escape key. You can also use window selection through left clicking at any point near the object, then move the mouse covering the objects to be selected. You need to cover the object or objects you want to pick in order for you to select it. It is different from crossing. To continue the use of escape key, 
it is used to end the command or stop it from being active. The enter and space bar keys are used to activate the command. If you press say L, shortcut key for line, next step will be entering using enter or space bar key to activate the command and can use to enter values, the distance or measurement. Like the distance of the line is 5 and press enter or space bar key. This might be used to enter command from being active and importantly, it is also used to re-enter the previously used command without typing the shortcut key. Thank <laughs> you.